Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there's one thing that's coming out from this Gamergate 2.0 debacle that's happening over the last few weeks is that I think a lot of the employees at the mainstream gaming industry, whatever developer they're working for, publisher they're working for, it doesn't really matter whether they're an actual developer, whether they're someone on the marketing team, or whether there's just someone who's in HR, they're all basically exposing themselves. They've made it very easy to notice what's exactly going on, who stands for what, and even if you don't speak to them, even if you don't quote tweet them, ultimately they will expose themselves. And that's exactly what we're having here. We have an article here from that park place with a headline that reads rumor compulsion games race swap their main character after hiring sweet baby Inc. <laughs> Now, again, ladies and gentlemen, this is not something that we've heard. Uh, you know, this is not the first time we're hearing about this. We've heard this uh, for quite a bit now. You know, Sweet Baby Inc. and companies like Sweet Baby Inc., this is what they do. You know, we talked about um, Flintlock, and Flintlock was a game that originally, supposedly anyway, had a white male lead character that now got turned into a black female lead. Why? Because the COO decided to get in bed with Sweet Baby Inc. And now we're hearing the same exact rumor regarding a different game from Compulsion Games. So let's get into this article, guys, from that park place. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. It says a new rumor claims that Compulsion Games of subsidiary of Xbox Games studios reportedly race swapped their main character for their upcoming game south of midnight after sweet baby inc was brought on board to consult now we spoke about xbox okay i think in like two videos we spoke about xbox and how they have literal check boxes that they are asking their developers to consider when they are making their games. They are trying to creatively limit the ideas of these developers by saying, hey, maybe don't make pretty women anymore. Maybe you should make women that are more androgynous looking for the trans gays. Maybe you should get rid of boobs. You should get rid of curves. You should get people who um, don't look like typical gender stereotypes. At least that's their words anyway. They gave them literal check boxes under the gaming is for everyone uh, I don't even know what they call it, but it was basically a guideline where they, <laughs> they're trying to make people do these things. And it's very clear by making it optional. They know that a lot of people are not going to want to do this stuff. OK, and they also don't want to make it seem as if they're requiring people to do it. But let's be real. Even though it's optional, you know, for a fact that these developers are going to feel like they have to do it. Otherwise, they're going to get ousted in public as that developer that didn't do these DEI checkboxes. You know, I feel like they're going to be keeping tabs on who doesn't and who doesn't doesn't do it. This rumor comes from former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern as part of a thread based on information that he alleges had received from an ex-developer at Compulsion Games. Kern shared on X exclusive, Microsoft Xbox mandate changes at studios, hires Sweet Baby Inc., erases white characters. I spoke to ex-devs at two different studios who say DEI is ruining and altering games and studio culture. Changes happen after Xbox started meddling. Now, I've talked about the fact that in the mainstream gaming industry, ladies and gentlemen, not every single person in there is evil. Not every single person in there is completely rotten mentally with DEI. There's a lot of people in the mainstream gaming industry that is actively fighting this stuff, okay? We talked about this all the time. Who do you think is leaking these stories? Who do you think is leaking these videos that you see from the GDC? Who do you think is leaking these Zoom calls that you see from internal conversations happening at different companies? There are people in these companies that are leaking this stuff because this is how they can fight back. And I get it. A lot of people are scared to lose their job. I understand that fear. And I will never, ever talk bad about someone who is just trying to live with that fear. I get that. But ultimately, there is a fight going on. There is absolutely a war going on. And it's only just started. If you think that you can basically skate by and not be affected by this culture war that's happening in gaming especially, you were sadly mistaken. If you are even remotely in this space, you're going to be bombarded with it at some point in time, whether by finding videos like this or whether by those companies actively trying to indoctrinate you essentially into a certain mindset and try to bully you into believing it. It says, Current continued, I have reasonably confirmed that the devs I spoke, I, uh, I spoke to used to work at the studios in question. Avalanche 
Image Studios Group and Compulsion Games. Both studios are listed on the Sweet Baby Detected website. Correction, website is SweetBabyInc.com. Microsoft made a splash at GDC, announcing their product inclusion guidelines for all of their studios. Kern added, such changes have been reported elsewhere as woke, including defeminization of female characters, and cite widely discredited studies as their basis. Microsoft claims they do not mandate these guidelines, but in fact, they make sweeping changes at the studios they publish or partner with. Now, these uh, these checkboxes, like I said earlier in the video, we already made a separate video on it. So if you missed it, go check out that video. It's live on the channel, but they're ridiculous. It's exactly what you would expect to see at the GDC conference, because let's be real. The GDC conference is just a Marxist gathering. That's all it is. It's a bunch of people who actively hate the social climate that they're in right now, who actively hate gamers as a whole. And they're trying to figure out ways to push their activism in gaming. That's literally most of what they talk about at the GDC conference. Then it says he went on to allege that changes in Microsoft include hiring of DEI director, hiring of consulting firm to gender balance and review hiring promotion policies, hiring a Sweet Baby Inc. to work on the published games, both studios underwent these changes after MS and SBI involvement. Kern then shared one of the biggest changes to the game, where alteration of the character creation system in contraband to remove gender differences and allow for random swapping of distinct male and female body parts, facial hair, and more. But it didn't stop there. After SBI was brought on board Compulsion Games South of Midnight, the main character was race swapped from white to black. Then it says Kern then shared a side-by-side -side of the main character and how she was allegedly originally designed. He wrote, the main character of Hazel was swapped shortly after Sweet Baby Inc. involvement from white to black. So if you look at this picture, my goodness, <laughs> this, this is, yeah, this, this clearly... This very, very clearly showcases Sweet Baby Inc. And you know what's funny? Sweet Baby Inc. in consultation groups just like Sweet Baby Inc. will try to gaslight you and tell you, oh, we don't do anything, right? We don't do anything. It's the studios that want to do this. We don't do anything, right? But it's funny how you guys don't do anything, but any game that you're involved with, nine times out of ten, has an almost exact identical change or changes being made to the game that are very specific to what you do. So after a while, yeah, it is the studios that have to decide yes or no on these things, but after a while, you have to kind of realize, like, you have a play in this. You have a major play in this. The moment you are hired to consult on a project, you are an active player on that project, and you should take all blame with the developer and, the, and, and the, everybody who's involved should take all blame when a game eventually bombs because you wanted to focus on dei and not the actual game and story itself i mean look at this you have your classic female character who happens to be white and then you have a race swapped character that has a very typical stereotypical black hairstyle Kern concluded, these changes to the games at both studios and the culture changes at Contraband both happened after Microsoft and SBI involvement. The implication was that publishing money was pulling the strings, mandating studio changes in hiring, hiring of DEI staff and consultants, and altering the games. These changes do not seem to be organic, but the result of forced policies that come from the very top. Powered by publishing influence and funding, he wrote, Microsoft and Xbox's product inclusion guidelines are more mandatory than they claim. And you know what? Again, like I said before earlier in the video, they want to claim as if it's optional because they never want to be able to uh, have it used against them that they obviously want to mandate this. It may be optional now, but I don't think it's going to be optional in the future. Microsoft especially seems like they're going down this rabbit hole because they're bleeding money in their gaming sector right now. They are getting absolutely crushed by PlayStation two console uh, seasons in a row and they're probably going to end up bowing out at some point and just making games and putting it on PlayStation. So time is going to tell, ladies and gentlemen, what ends up happening with this. But I mean, just looking at this before and after picture, I, I know everything I need to know about this game for me to not really be interested in the slightest. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out. Oh, no.